The wastewater treatment facility designed by the City of Buffalo displays innovative technology unlike any other in the United States. Along with the need to expand capacity to serve a rapidly growing population, the city faced increased resistance from nearby residents to haul and land apply biosolids in the area. Buffalo used an energy conservation program to reduce overall consumption within the community. The wastewater treatment facility is a state-of-the-art system that virtually eliminates biosolids by converting them into a renewable energy source. Buffalo City Engineer Brad DeWolf describes the system. The Buffalo, Minnesota wastewater facility is its first of its kind in the United States that uses dry biosolids as an energy source in the treatment process. Biosolids produced by the facility are first dewatered with belt filter presses. A biosolid wet cake is created, which is transferred to a belt dryer and heated until it's approximately 95% dry, resulting in Class A biosolids. These biosolids are then burned in a traveling grate incinerator to recover heat energy. The incinerator is the key component in reducing the biosolids to 5% of their original volume. Air from the belt dryer passes through a dehumidification process to remove excess moisture, then through a heat exchanger where it is reheated and recycled. The heat exchanger is essentially a heat recovery system. Flue gas from the incinerator passes through the same heat exchanger, after which it is treated with lime and activated carbon to capture various contaminants, including mercury. The gas is then filtered to capture the particles before it is discharged. Reheated air from the heat exchanger is then routed back to the belt dryer to begin the process anew, heating and drying the next round of biosolids entering the system. It is a completely airtight, closed-loop process that provides two primary benefits. It reduces any chance of odors being vented into the atmosphere, and it allows for the capture of heat to be reused in a continuous drying process. A high-tech operating system controls the process from start to finish. The city uses the dry biosolids as an energy source, and we, we burn the biosolids in a furnace, and we recover the heat from the burning of the biosolids, and we use that heat in the treatment process. By recycling the biosolids into a fuel source, Buffalo has reduced its natural gas consumption for drying by 80%. Energy savings in the first year of operation are expected to exceed $90,000. By 2027, annual savings are projected to reach $500,000. Overall, this project is expected to save the city $5 million in energy costs over 20 years. The energy recovery portion of the biosolids improvements was estimated at about $2.5 million. So the payback to the city will be approximately 10 years.